Saturday or tomorrow the most important weekend of the year? Yeah, I mean, it's been a big lead up. It's, you know, we had a bad Durban, we had a pretty good uh, SWAT Corps, but uh, it all comes down to this this weekend. But I'm looking forward to it. It's it's all Cape Town affair, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Top three in Cape Town. I mean, Charles had a really a, um, a very unlucky qualifying. His chain came off. Uh, I mean, my heart goes out to him. You know, he's he's done really well this year, and it's a uh, it's sad that he has to go out in qualifying like that. What is the plan? You are you the one who's got it all to lose. Uh, you basically tomorrow can run four second places, and the championship is done. Correct. Charles, on the other hand, needs to win, 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 win. Otherwise, his championship is done. Yeah. Well, yeah, being 10 points ahead in the championship now with drops is uh, it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, I'm uh, very confident going tomorrow, into tomorrow, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping to uh, collect another championship. It, how much of this is mind over matter? Quite a lot of it, yeah. I mean, I've had to do a lot of mental prep this week. You know, it's been hard, I've been stressed. It's, uh, yeah, it's everything riding on this weekend. Senior Max, it's all about which one of the Cape Town guys is going to be the fastest on the day. Yeah, pretty much it is like that. Um, yeah, it was a great lap, great lap by Tate, and Andrew also drove very well. The stepped up his game. Um, yeah, we'll be seriously close tomorrow, uh, as we can see in qualifying. It was super close. So yeah, we'll see as the day goes. Not planning before. I think we'll take it as it comes. Train funny in there with an the outside chance as they work their way through now into the train lines they go and off they go. Down towards the uh, holes if they go and it looks like Tate Bishop gets the whole shot now as they lead up towards the 180s. Bishop goes in there. He's got Kutsia sitting up behind him. Chase Kutsia pushing hard there through there now. As he sits up in second, Kutsia is under attack, but he manages to keep that together now. Tate Bishop in the angry Jeep out for trying to get away. Kutsia sits up there behind him. He's been pushed hard. Looks like Manila sits there with him. Where's Fissa? Fissa sits already in third last position. He's working his way through the field. He's going to be pretty quick. Here comes the leader now. Tate Bishop as he works his way through. Tate Bishop sits in second. Looks like... Uh, it's here. It's here goes into first. Rackstraw's there with him. No, it's Tate Bishop and Andy Rackstraw. Then Storm Lanfear, Jason Gutsia, Shun Naidu, Dane Van Eder, Charles Fisser, Kai Van Sale, and Mazopi bringing up the rear. Right, here they come out of the 180s, heading down onto that back straight now. There's not much between these uh, guys for second, third, and fourth as they race it hard down the back main. Bishop leads them through Cosmic and into Golf Club. Right up into P6 is uh, Charles Fisser. Fisser's working his way through. Here comes Bishop right behind Bishop. It is Andy Rackstraw. Behind Rackstraw, Storm Lanfear is coming through as well. He's working his way up. He's in that third position. Jason Kutsia, Shreen Naidu. And uh, it's actually Kutsia that sits there in that fourth position. Then Naidu, then Lanfear. As uh, the field is busy working their way around. So uh, Fisser has moved up into that fifth position already as uh, they head down the back straight. Man, Bishop is deciding, I've got to get out of here. Andy Rackstraw is right there with him in that second position as they work through Cosmic and through into Golf Club. Rackstraw sits out there in that second place. Behind him, it's Jason Kutsia. Then it's Storm Lanfear. Then it's the 201 machine of Charles Fisser. So Fisser's right in that pack as they run down into turn number one. Right, so your uh, defending champion currently in second place there now at Shoal Fisser. So uh, take Bishop leading out there. Bishop, Rackstraw, they're all in it there. And uh, Jason Gutsia sits there with Storm Lanfear up behind him. There they come to now and it looks like take Bishop's getting out, checking out. Rackstraw's there with him. Rackstraw. And uh, Fisser up into P4 now. Shoal Fisser working his way through the field. He wants to push hard. Got uh, championship points in his mind now as he works his way through there. Rack straws through there. Jason Gutsia sits up there behind him. Over the start finish line they go. And uh, they work their way now into the holes, out of holes now, up towards the 180s. Right up 
out of the 180s they work down now we have a look at them as they go into that 180s there's nothing between this group of carts working their way out of the 180s to the second airpin and down onto the back straight they go there goes Charles Fisher he had a brief squiz there at Charles Fisher as the flow run through Cospic and into golf club Fisher is certainly the man on the move he's just ahead of a storm land fear Rackstraw, the man that does uh, Formula 1600 on the main circuit. Healy comes out in second place. Could see us under attack from Fisser. Here comes Fisser. Fisser looks up on the inside and he takes third in Cosmic Corner. Fisser slides up into third. What a master drive by the London lad as he comes down through lane to third place. Up ahead of Jason Kutsia. Now Kutsia sandwich between Fisser and Lanfear. Can Lanfear creep a bit closer? Up behind Lanfear, it's Naidu. Naidu's pushing pretty hard there. And they all make their way down into holes now. Driving hard, could see it want to come back at Fisser, but Fisser's on a storm rage here now as he looks up at the back end there of Andy Rackstraw as they going to the first of the Heppen. Right, working the way out of Heppen number two now. He's going to have to get a move on because Andy Rackstraw is right in front of him. Will the head go down? Yes, he does. He leans over that steering wheel to Charles Fisser as he hooks up the back end there of Andrew Rackstraw. Running through Cosmic and into Golf Club. Yeah, they come now. He's a lot more closer to Rackstraw now. Rackstraw second, Fisser sits out there in third, then it's Jason Kutsia that's there in P4, then it's Storm Lanfear followed there by Sri Naidu as uh, they head into turn number one. Fisser's going to draft Bishop, I mean uh, Rackstraw, he's going to draft the Rackstraw now as he goes down into the inside, but Rackstraw keeps the door firmly closed there now into golf club they go. Rackstraw can hear the purr of that card behind him. Sure. I'm sure it's more than just the purr. You could probably pick up a shadow somewhere as uh, they head across the finish line to start another lap. Charles Fisser will know that the laps are beginning to run out. He needs to get ahead of Andy Rackstraw, pull away from Rackstraw and go after Tate Bishop. He slides that cart into the uh, 180s. Through the 180s they go. It is right on his back bumper. Will he make a move in Cosmic on Golf Club? He's going to have to make a move somewhere as we watch them on the television monitor. Running down up on the inside, but Rackstraw says, uh-uh, I'm going to hang on to this place. And this will just allow Tate Bishop to disappear further down the road. Well, the uh, reigning champion sits there in third place. He wants to get up into second if he wants to uh, make any dent in the championship. But currently, Tate Bishop, the protagonist, leads out. There goes Tate into holes. There goes Rackstraw, followed by Fisser. Fisser is pushing hard there up behind Rackstraw. Rackstraw is uh, not prepared to relinquish his second place. They're going to uh, the 180s. Still Rackstraw keeping Fisser at bay. Fisser is going to want to muscle his way through, but Rackstraw is still pretty quick. Right, he's right up behind him now. Now Fisser says, can I have a look as he drafts him now. He sits right up on the back and there. The heads are down behind the turning. I don't think he can. And uh, they go down into... Uh, Golf Club, out of Golf Club they come, Rackstraw riding for his life here, holding on to second place, he wants that podium, he's sitting up behind Bishop with Fisser looming in the shadows there up behind him, here they come up towards holes now, Tate Bishop leading out there with only Rackstraw, Charles Fisser and Jason Gutier with only two laps in it, only two laps left in it as they work their way down now into the uh, 180s. Laps are beginning to unwind as uh, they head out of the 180s to Epa number two. Onto the S as they go, down onto the back straight, there, will the head go down, yes, Rackstraw tracks the circuit, but Charles Fisser sits up, and wonders why, I wonder why he sat up there, he needs to get that airflow over that helmet, he's right there, gave him a bit of a nudge coming out of golf club, there'll be only a lap or two left when they work their way down into turn number one, down into turn one they go, as uh, he is all over him still. Charles Fisser is crowding the back end there of the Andrew Rackstraw outfit. And I'll tell you what, they are keeping the race leader, Tate Bishop, pretty honest. There's a bit of a fight going on there for P4 and 5 as well. But we uh, focus on that second and third position. And Rackstraw pulls two cart lengths there on Fisser through Cosmic and through Golf Club. Brilliant, brilliant dicing now. The last lap ball's going to be coming out here now for uh, Tate Bishop. Bishop goes past the kiosk, King Gay comes onto the main straight, the last lap board gets held out there now. Rackstraw knows this is there, he's trying to keep him at bay. Well, we'll do anything for your buddy that's live up front now. He's the, uh, meets the sandwich there, he's uh, Rackstraw. 
Breaks late and Fisser comes right up behind him there. Fisser looks up on the inside. He's going to try a switchback. But Bishop's up for it now. They come out and uh, Fisser's right up on the back of Rackstraw as they work their way down now towards Cosmic Corner. Here comes Tate Bishop and here comes Rackstraw. Fisser looks up on the inside. He's late on the brakes and Fisser goes to second. Fisser goes to second and he works his way to Gold Club. He keeps his championship wide open now as he sits up behind Bishop. Fisser into second. A brilliant maneuver there for him now as the checkered flag comes out. Checkered flag time. Tate Bishop, Charles Fisser, Andy Rackstraw, Jason Kutsia. Nido sits in there and then uh, it's going to be Storm Lanfear. Let's have a look and see. Fassa is the man that's on pole position. And that's Storm Lanfear. I made a mistake earlier on. One of the races actually called Storm in that race. Instead of Ethan Steer, that's how that's how action packed it was. I even got the name mixed up. But you know what that happens. Eh? The racing year has been fast and furious and brilliant as the lights go off. And we're going to have a hell of a lot more of this as they squirt it down into turn number one. Out of turn one, they come now racing towards the 180s. I don't think Fiss has got the whole shot. We'll have a look and see as they work their way through the 180s. Through the 180s, they go now. And uh, no, Fisser did not get the old shot. They said he's second and third. Fisser and Bishop. And now Fisser goes for the lead and says, thank you. I'll take that lead away as they work their way into Cosmic. That means Bishop's going to have to make a move somewhere. They made the move there on Storm Lanfear. Then uh, it's Bishop that sits in third. And behind Tate Bishop, Jason Kutsia in P4. Here we go, Shaw Fisser, Tate Bishop up on the inside of Storm, Lanfear, Lanfear is getting eaten up alive here now as they work their way into the 180s. Shaw Fisser now has got uh, Tate Bishop up behind him and it looks like Kutsia tries to go through but Kutsia runs a bit wide. That leans Randy Rackstraw goes up into P4, there you see Rackstraw in the screen now in P4 as Shaw Fisser leads out. Here comes Tate Bishop chasing hard. Storm Lanfear, Andy Rackstraw, then Jason Goodsea. They all work their way down into Golf Club. Out of Golf Club they come now. And uh, once you get Fissy in front, Frankie, it's not going to be easy to get him back down. That's not going to be easy to get him out. That's for sure. I see Sri Naidu has also joined that group as well as we have a challenge there for that third position. And that's allowed the top two to break away and head into the 180s all on their own. So it is Fisser from Bishop Rackstraw is the man that moved up into that third position as uh, they work their way down onto the back main. There they go, down the back main they go. Oh, somebody got lost there. That's uh, Sri Naidu. That was, that's a 2-1-2, two two. yes, of Sri Naidu that got himself on the dirt. They were side by side and Naidu drops to the back of that pack of three. So leading out, Charles Fisser, who's starting to check out now with Tate Bishop. Andrew Rackstraw sits there, head there of uh, that man that sits behind him. And they work their way into the 180s now. Into the 180s they go now, and it's going to be Tate Bishop sitting up behind Shoal, just keeping status quo. And up behind him, Andy Rackstraw. Rackstraw pushes pretty hard there now with Storm Lanfear up behind him. Storm, a credible fourth position there. Then it's Jason Kutsia, Shinaidu, and uh, up behind him there, Dane van Yerde. Fisser looking over his shoulder, but Bishop's right there with him into Cosmic Corner. Bishop looks up on the inside as he scrubs his nose cone. Bishop sitting right on the back of Fisser. He's carrying too much speed. Fisser maybe just a little bit too slow on the exit as Bishop sits there with him. And Tate Bishop pushing on there. And working his way through. So Shaul Fisser with Tate Bishop. Bishop up on the inside and Bishop takes the lead from Fisser. Bishop slides in nice and in a respectful manner. Puts through into it. And... Uh, 14-year-old Tate Bishop ahead there of the 16-year-old Shaul Fisser now as he works his way out. This has brought Rackstraw into the picture together there with uh, Storm Lanfear. Down the back straight they go now and Bishop gets his head down behind that nose cone and works his way down towards Cosmic Corner. Into Cosmic they go and then it's going to be Shaul Fisser right up there behind him. I'll tell you it's an absolute dogfight out there between these uh, four as uh, they work their way onto the home straight. 
Here comes Tate Bishop, right behind him, it's Charles Fisser, right behind Charles Fisser, it's Andy Rackstraw, right behind Rackstraw in P4, it's Storm Lanfear, as uh, Lanfear is right there with them as well. Well, it's the four of them are as one line as we see them work their way through the S's. Down onto the back straight they go now, and here comes Fisser. Fisser looks up on the inside and boom, back into the lead again goes Charles Fisser through Cosmic Corner and into Golf Club. Coming out of Golf Club and Box Bay now, it's Fisser P1, it's Bishop P2, it's Rackstraw P3, it's Lanfear P4, as uh, they race across the finish line, back down into turn number one. Well, Fiss is uh, fighting hard there to maintain the lead and has brought Tate Bishop and Andy Rackstraw right into the picture now. Will Bishop do something to get back into the lead? He's got Rackstraw sitting right up behind him and Storm Lanfear. It's anybody's game now as they exit the 180 complex down the back straight they go. Will uh, Tate Bishop try and draw Fisser down there now? The four Cape Town boys go down towards uh, Cosmic Corner into Golf Club. Line astern. In they go now and they roll around into uh, Bogs Bend. Fissa holds it sway there over Tate Bishop there with uh, Andy Rackstraw and uh, Storm Lanfear up behind him. Out they come here now and is uh, Tate Bishop going to have a look? No, he doesn't. He just slides in there behind him, taking with him Rackstraw and Lanfear now as they work their way into the 180 complex. Sliding those carts into the uh, 180s. These four boys from Western Province make their way out that second airpin, working onto the S's. And down onto the back straight they go now. It's Fisser, it's Bishop, it's Rackstraw and Lanfear. Through Cosmic and into Golf Club they go now. As uh, they exit the Golf Club, swing left through Box Bend. Racing hard through Kiosk King. Through Kiosk King onto Pit S's. And down onto the home straight they go. Lanfear has been left slightly behind as uh, they enter turn number one. Holzuk under braking, he climbs back there with them again. Working now towards the uh, 180s. Through the 180s they go. These four hot shots making their way out of Hepa number two. Fisser wants to win this. Bishop says, you can win it, buddy. I just have to be in the second position. He does, however, not want to lose that second place to the 2-4-0 cart of Andrew Rackstraw that sits in that third position. And uh, Lanfear still in fourth, but beginning to lose a little bit of ground to the guys ahead of him. Charles Fisser maintaining the status quo as he makes his way down towards Holzuk there. He's got uh, Bishop all over the back of him. Rackstraw and Lanfear sit up there behind him. His first four absolutely running away with it now at the moment. And Fisser has Bishop having a look. Fisser goes defensive to keep Bishop behind him. He's fighting with that steering wheel to keep it in a good straight line. Through the kink they go down the back straight and uh, Bishop's going to be uh, drafting him. Bishop sits there. Bishop looks up on the inside. Oh, just leaving it a little too early. And uh, that was a great look there. Bishop not fighting too hard, but uh, just trying to uh, force it in at the last moment. Fisser was up for the fight there and kept him up behind him now as they work their way down towards Holes. Heading down into turn number one. Holes took that go now. It looks like the first two is trying to uh, uh, split themselves from three and four. That's Fisser and uh, Bishop, uh, the two championship contenders are sitting one and two. They're trying to break away there from Rackstraw, from Andrew Rackstraw and from Storm Lanfear as uh, they work down the back mate. Bang! Take a thump there, says Tate Bishop to uh, Shal Fisser as they head into Golf Club. And now all four of them are back together again. This uh, absolute incredible race we have out there as uh, they work their way across the line into turn number one and once again the four of them are as one as they exit Holzuk. Right, so on the penultimate lap now is uh, Bishop slides into the leader. Fisser comes back at him. Oh, and uh, Rackstraw gets through but Bishop maintains it and uh, Storm Lanfear goes into P3. Brilliant stuff here from the young lads as they fight up but this is a uh, release Fisser. Fisser gets released there now from Tate Bishop. Storm Lanfear in third there now with Rackstraw down in uh, P4 as they work their way now through Box Bend. Coming out of Box Bend now, it looks as if Fisser with one more lap to go has pulled the pin. He's disappearing, so the fight is on between three of them for that second and third position as uh, 
they work their way into the 180s and oh man it's a hectic fight out there as they work their way Lanfear is ahead of Rackstraw that's what Andrew didn't want and exactly what uh, Lanfear wanted as they go down that back strain here comes uh, Andy Rackstraw up on the inside of Storm Lanfear and makes the move stick as they work out of Golf Club so Charles Fisser makes his way towards the chequered flag as the chequered flag beckons now. Charles Fisser will take heat number two from Tate Bishop. Then it's Andy Rackstraw, Storm Lanfear. They make their way over. Then it's going to be Dane van Eerde, Jason Goodseer. Shreen, Shreen Naidu. Is in pole position on his outside. It is Storm Lamphia. Watch out for Bishop and watch out for Fisser. It's going to be war out there. Watch out for the likes of Swart and Rackstraw to make it difficult as well as Lamphia. The lights go off and away they go as they head down into turn number one. And Storm Lamphia has got the whole shot. My goodness, Storm Lamphia runs around the outside and uh, gets the uh, old shot out of turn number one so storm lanfia had a stormer off the line excuse the pun as he works his way down the back straight and uh, sri naidu sits there in that second position he was the man that was in pole so he got jumped coming out of turn number one and lost his pole position to storm lanfia well sitting in third place now andrew rackstraw's got uh, shawl fisser and tate bishop behind him Fisser and Bishop don't want to be there. They would like to be a little bit higher up there now. Rackstraw keeps up. Fisser goes up into B3. Fisser goes into 3 now. And Rackstraw's got uh, the sandwich between him and Bishop. Bishop will want to come through. There's still a good couple of laps. 14 laps to go now as they work their way through. Bishop needs to stay behind uh, them. And uh, Bishop would want to, want to move up. He wants to be in second place. That's where he needs to be. He sits up behind Rackstraw. He's looking a bit unsettled. Fisser goes to the front now. And Fisser is now in front, and this is doing his championship a whole lot of good. Well, that's all that Charles Fisser can do. All he can do is go out there, take the lead, keep the lead, and win, and hope that uh, Bishop doesn't finish second. At this point in time, Bishop is in a lot of trouble. He sits there behind Storm Lanfia, and it's not exactly where he was. As a matter of fact, he sits behind Andy Rackstraw. It's Lanfia that sits... Uh, 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 behind Naidu, then Rackstraw, then Bishop, followed by Kutsia. So um, Bishop is not in a good position at this point in time. If he finishes there or manages to work up to third and doesn't get any higher than that, and Charles Fisser wins, then this championship will go to the fourth and final race of the day. So my oh my. And somehow, Francois, I think we'd love it to go that way. Hell yes, that's the way we like it. We like a bit of fun in Cape Town now. Charles Fisser leading out. Naidu sits in second. Third, Storm Lanfear. Then Rackstraw. Then Bishop. Then Kutsia. They all make their way up towards the 180s now. And Fisser drifts in there. Naidu doing exceptionally well. Bishop. Bishop up now. Into fourth place now. Ahead there of uh, Andy Rackstraw. You see Storm Lanfear in front of him. And Lanfear is not going to be an easy picking now as they make their way towards Cosmic Corner. Your leader Charles Fisser being tracked there by uh, Shrin Naidu. Naidu sits right up behind him and uh, keep an eye on Bishop. Bishop sits behind uh, Storm Lanfear. Can Bishop get past Lanfear? Well, there's still a good 12 laps to go and there's still lots to happen. Well, I'll tell you what, Charles first is looking around. Summer, here comes Bishop up on the inside of Lanfear. Into third place goes Bishop. He's taken that third place away from Storm Lanfear. So far, it's going to the fourth and final lead. Can Shreen Naidu do enough to hang on to that second position? Maybe even do better, get first. Fissa will not want him to get first because then he will be out of the championship. So Fissa has to win this one and uh, Bishop has to end where you see him now for us to go to the fourth and final race of the day to see who's the SA champion. So it's the two boys from Western Province that are fighting it out for the SA championships right now, Fissa. Then it's Sri Naidu. Then comes the third man from Cape Town. That is Tate Bishop, Storm Lanford, Jason Kutsia, and Andrew Rackstraw.
They're followed by Dane van Yeda and Daniele Mazzoppi, but uh, they're in the 180s now and still Fissa leaning out. Shlin Naidu's keeping him in check. But here comes Tate Bishop. He's starting to open up a gap over Storm Lanfear. Bishop gets behind the cowling there as he works his way down towards uh, Cosby Corner. Into Golf Club they go, and Bishop's getting a bit closer towards Naidu. Bishop exits the uh, complex there and works his way through towards the S's. Into the S's he goes down, and it's uh, Storm Lanfear leading over Andy Rackstraw. There you see your leader Schalfus again down into holes now, followed by Naidu and Bishop. And Kutsia goes up on the inside of Lanfear. Kutsia looking uh, pretty racy right now. Kutsia coming up on the inside of Lanfear and he comes right back at him again. Rackstraw was also there. Rackstraw makes the move there on, on, uh, on Storm Lanfear. Yeah, guy'd love to be out there. He had his day. So uh, all of a sudden, it's blown itself wide open here for that uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth position. But you're going to go back to the leaders. Here they come towards us now. It's actually one, two, and three for that matter. That is Shal Fisser from Sri Naidu, from Tate Bishop. Fisser will say to Naidu, you stay just there. I don't want you to pass me, but I do not want Bishop to overtake you neither. We're going to get this championship to go to the wire. This is not what Fisser wants, and Naidu eats the lead. Shal Fisser would not want to see this because on his bumper is the champion protagonist namely Tate Bishop. Yeah, Shal Fisser got caught napping there by Shrin Naidu and here comes Tate Bishop. Bishop goes wide to cause a switchback. Fisser goes defensive. Tate Bishop sits up there behind him and is pushing him hard. In the meantime, Shrin Naidu might just get away. Shrin Naidu gets on the gas now and starts pulling away there from Fisser. Fisser needs to clamber back. And uh, Tate Bishop sitting there with him now. They work their way down towards Holes. What will Bishop do? He's going to be drafting him. He slides in there. They're both sliding together, Fisser and Bishop. And uh, Bishop doing everything there to keep his championship. And he looks up on the inside of Fisser. Bishop slides up. Fisser goes hang iron wide. And Fisser tries to come back. Fisser comes back at him. Oh, I tell you what, the gloves are right off here. And they ride white knuckles. But look at this here now. And uh, suddenly could see and Rackstraw back in the picture. This one is wide open, folks. Well, I don't know about wide open. They are boxing each other in. They're holding each other down. They're bogging each other down. And Sri Naidu was saying, I have come to upset your entire party by winning this one. And Fissa, I'm, I'm not telling you that this young man is pushing panic buttons. There's no need to panic yet. Fissa is in that second position. It doesn't help that he finishes in second because even if he keeps Bishop behind him, oh, look at Kutsia. Jason Kutsia sliding up another position and uh, Kutsia pulls in there behind Bishop. Well, uh, they go through there now. Shaul Fisser, Fisser and Bishop and then it's Rackstraw, then Kutsia, then uh, it's going to be Storm Lanfear and Bishop slides through on the inside of Fisser and this is doing Fisser a whole uh, bucket of tears. So Bishop gets through and Bishop's in second now. Is he going to go look for Shreem Naidu? We'll have to wait and see. Right, meantime, Sri Naidu was sliding that cart. Here comes, uh, here comes uh, Tate Bishop, right behind Tate Bishop. We've got Shaul Fisser behind Fisser. We've got Rackstraw, and Fisser gets his nose ahead of Bishop once again. And that's not going to help him. He needs to win this race. I don't know if he's going to be able to win it. They have let uh, Naidu go. These four have bogged each other down so much that Sri Naidu is disappearing down the highway. Now, Fisser. All he can do is drive defensive lines, claim that second place and hope that something goes wrong with Bishop behind him to keep the championship wide open. At this point in time, Tate will be saying to himself, there's no need for me to panic because if it ends this way, I'm the SA national champion. Slides in there, Rackstraw looks up on the inside of Bishop, but Bishop manages to keep that gap closed. Andy Rackstraw feeling now. And Fisser there, and oh, and look at that, Storm Lanfear up on the inside of Rackstraw. Rackstraw returns the favor now in the 180s, and still Fisser leads out in second place there. Ahead there of uh, Tate Bishop, but Bishop's going to draft him now as they pull away from uh, Rackstraw. Rackstraw's got Lanfear and could see up behind him, and here comes Bishop. Oh, Bishop pushing Fisser extremely hard. Fisser running up on the curbstones to try and maintain his position. Well, this one is for all the marbles in the bag. It's not worked out for Shal Fisser. He'll be sitting there saying, come on, I need that lead. Here comes Bishop again. Oh, they touch. They touch and Bishop has gone through. And all of a sudden, Fisser is losing two, three positions. The championship is gone at this point in time, Francois, for Shal Fisser.
Uh, we've only got two laps to go now as Tate Bishop leads out over Andrew Rackstraw and Storm Lanfey and Charles Fisser. Tate Bishop gets on the gas hard now and forces his way down towards Cosmic Corner. He's got Rackstraw crawling up behind him. Fisser goes back up on Lanfey. Well, there's still a lap and a half to go. It's anybody's uh, take here now as Bishop leads out over Andy Rackstraw. Rackstraw is a solid wedge there in the uh, purpose of Fisser. Well, you wouldn't believe this in a month of Sundays as they make their way out of turn number one. There might be a technical problem here on the Bishop card. It looks like there might be issue with his nose cone. So we'll have a look and see. This championship might not be over yet. It might not be done and dusted yet. I'll see if I can look out the window about the nose cone. I don't see anything wrong with it on the track, but I've just... I've just been informed here by the producer that there's a dent in the middle of that nose cone. So that might have a... Yes, I see it. I see it. So let's hope as the last lap board comes out that that doesn't cost him. If it does cost him, then the championship will still be wide open as we are now on the final lap. Right, so they make their way down into the 180 complex. Still Naidu leading out from Tate Bishop, Andrew Rackstraw and Charles Fisser in there too. Fisser is having a look up on the inside of Rackstraw. He gets to Rackstraw there and uh, he's going in search of Bishop. Bishop works his way down towards uh, Cosmic Corner. Into Cosmic he goes. Yes, Fisser and Storm Lanfear right up behind him. The chicken flag is beckoning. And uh, they make their way now out, and Shren Naidu is going to get the checkered flag. Checkered flag waiting there. Shren Naidu makes his way through the S's. Checkered flag. Shren Naidu followed there by Tate Bishop, Charles Fisser, Storm Lanfear, Jason Goodsear, and Andrew Rackstraw. Unofficially, Tate Bishop is the champion, but you never, never know. I'm sure Jan Hartse, our producer, will keep us informed by the time we get to the fourth and final heat. Man, it's been a fantastic day. There's your results. Sri Naidu coming home in P1. Tate Bishop second. Charles Fisser crossing the line in third. Ahead of Storm Lanfear, Jason Kutsia, Andrew Rackstraw. And there was only 4.8 seconds between P1 and P6. They were followed there by Dane Van Yera, Daniela Mazoppi, and Kai Van Sail. Right, so they dissect the tram lines, lights off and away they go down towards Holzuk. And it looks like that man Tate Bishop takes the whole shot there with uh, Andy Rackstraw up behind him. Rackstraw goes through there, Bishop, Rackstraw's looking racy, he goes up alongside Bishop and they rub. They do a bit of rubbing now and they work their way into the 180s. Down through the 180s they go and Tate Bishop leads out. Tate Bishop leads out there with Andrew Rackstraw in second place. It looks like it is... Uh, Jason could see her in third, could see her in third, but could see her gets hammered there by two carters as they go there into golf club. So here comes Tate Bishop, followed by Andy Rackstraw. It is uh, going to be Storm Lanfear that sits in third place with Charles Fisser and Jason could see behind him. Fisser's having a look there and Fisser slides up into third. Fisser now in third place up into Ian Rackstraw and Tate Bishop leads out. Right, Tate Bishop is the man that leads out coming out of the 180s. He knows he's the new SA champion, but still he's going to drive the wheels of that thing going down the back straight there with uh, Andrew Rackstraw that sits in that second position, followed there by Charles Fisser in uh, P3. That's the top three coming out of Box Bear now. But a lovely dice for four, five, and six. Storm Lanfear. Shreen Naidu and Jason Kutsia. They are fighting out there for P4, 5 and 6 into turn 1. Shreen Naidu late on the brakes up on the inside of Storm Lanfia and Jason Kutsia. So Shreen Naidu having a nice little battle with them there as they enter the 180s now. Naidu leads out sees in P4. Shreen Naidu gets ahead of Storm Lanfia and works his way out. He's going to go and search now for Fisser. But Fisser, Rackstraw and Bishop are way down the road now. They're going into Cosmic Corner. Into Cosmic Corner they go. And oh, I tell you what, Jason can see it goes a little bit wide. For uh, that second position between Rackstraw and Fisser. Just ahead of them you see Bishop disappear out the frame. As uh, Rackstraw and Fisser having a go out there for that second position. 
Nice tussle here between Rexel and Fisser. Looks up on the inside and Fisser takes second place. Fisser made it look so easy. Instead of on the inside of Rexel. He goes up into second line. He's going to go look for Tate Bishop. Bishop in the angry team outfit. He's out front now as he makes his way down towards Holes. There comes Tate Bishop now. He'll slide it into holes there. There's Fisser and Rackstraw. Rackstraw gets a bit of a twitch on the foot there, but manages to collect it as he takes it around down towards the 180 complex. The 180s he goes, and uh, Andy Rackstraw, also a protagonist in the uh, Formula 1600 for uh, the uh, Race Driver SA outfit. But uh, he sits down in third place, and he'll look to try and close down on the back of Fisser, but Fisser's on a fly here. Uh, he's trying to close down to the back of Dave Bishop. But still, we have a look at the second and third, which is Fisser and uh, Rackstraw. And they are closing down ever so slightly there on your leader, Tate Bishop. Well, still it's Fisser and Rackstraw going down the backside. You can see they are closing up there on race leader Tate Bishop. When they cross the line, they'll have three more laps to go. Here come your front runners, Tate Bishop, Charles Fisser. Andrew Rackstraw, Sri Naidu, uh, Jason Kutsia, and Storm Lanfia. That's the top group that's working down into turn number one. And still we sit there with that fight for that second position, which could be a fight for first, but I somehow don't think so. Bishop might just be controlling this one, I don't know. They are closing up to Bishop, but is it a matter of Bishop are just easing off and controlling things at the sharp end of the field? I like to believe so. But either way, they are closing the gap ever so slightly there, lap after lap, on the leader, Tate Bishop, with about two laps to go. Yeah, two laps to go when they cross the line. Right, Tate Bishop uh, leading out there now into holes. Now has to look over his shoulder to see where Fisser is. He's just got to up there and ever so slightly. Fisser's coming at him hard and bringing with him Andy Rackstraw. We could have a little bit of a challenge here in the dying moments, but Fisser is now closing down over and over foot as uh, Bishop lost his tyres. We'll have to wait and see, because here comes Fisser. They're uh, getting uh, towards the end of the race here. Now they've still got a lap and a half to go. Bishop down into Cosmic, here comes Fisser. I think Bishop might have struck his tyres off ever so slightly. And it's not getting purchased that he requires now, because Fisser has come right up onto the back of him here. Here goes Bishop now through. Up over the line, they're gonna get the last step forward. Up over the line they go, down towards Holes. Bishop sees it, he acknowledges it as he drifts it in then two holes, works his way around. And uh, Bishop now taking him to the 180s, here comes Fisser. Fisser's going to have to look to give him have a go at uh, Bishop here in the closing stages. And this is typical of Charles Fisser as he brings with him Andrew Rackstraw, the front three, making their way down towards Cosmic. Well, heading down towards Cosmic, but Tate Bishop has done more than enough into golf club. Fisser might have one more lunge, but he's not close enough. Coming out of uh, Box Bend now, towards the checkered flag. Tate Bishop will come home in P1. Second will go to Shaul Fisser. Third will go to Andrew Rackstraw. Fourth across the line will be Shrin Naidu. That crosses the line, and right behind him will have Jason Kutsia and Storm Lanfia. It was one of the nicest championships and championship battles to watch. Talk to me about this final round and the duel between you and your fellow Cape Townians. Yeah, you know, it was a it was an amazing day. You know, I, I can't like I'm ecstatic right now. Like, yeah, I have no idea what to do now. I'm just gonna go home, chill. But yeah, it was one of the toughest races of uh, of my career, uh, of uh, nine years of racing, and this year has been the most important to me. I mean, Charles drove really well today. The whole field drove really well. It's very close, but I uh, managed to pull through and win the championship. Now, this is all done. Now you're going to go to the grand finals for the first time. Correct. And you're going to probably be one of the babies in the class. Yeah, you know, I mean, I only turned 14 in June. And uh, like I'm just on the age limit, so I'm just allowed to drive a senior max. I mean, I'm going to be racing against people twice my age, even more. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a heck of an experience, but I'm definitely up for it.